These are the faces of the rural poor, hidden in the woods and on farmland, beyond the reach of social services. In this part of rural North Central Florida, work is hard to find, pays very little, and rarely offers health insurance. Hunger, malnutrition, and disease put the children of the rural poor at a grave disadvantage. We, we don't have that much money and stuff, and with all of us, it would be $60 a week for all us to have insurance, and right now, we just can't afford that. At the Acorn Clinic in Brooker, Florida, a group of health professionals and volunteers are working to break the cycle of poverty and disease by concentrating on children at risk. The program is called a level playing field because it provides rural children with the health care they need to live up to their potential in school and later in life. I believe that health care is a right, not a privilege, and that we in America have to do something about providing health care access to everyone, not just people who are lucky enough to have health insurance. The McRae family has no phone, no car, and no health insurance. When their kids get sick, Acorn is their only place to turn. Without the clinic, really, we'd probably be pretty stuck. We worry about the kids' health. My little boy has the seizures, so they keep an eye on that. They just know how to take care of them out there because they know most of their problems. If we weren't here, people wouldn't have access to health care. They would do without. In 1973, two local churches were part of a community-based effort that sought to address the area's lack of health care. With an annual budget of under $2,000, they opened a one-room, one-night-a-week clinic. They called it ACORN, the Alachua County Organization for Rural Needs. As ACORN grew, it broadened its outreach into the community, moving into larger facilities and expanding its services by attracting volunteer physicians and forming strategic alliances within the community, ACORN has flourished without the support of federal funds. Today, ACORN offers comprehensive health and dental care to three of Florida's poorest counties. Last year, a team of over 100 professional volunteers provided 9,000 hours of care at a value of over $1 million. It is small enough that there's not so much bureaucracy, that, um, that really the effort and the energy goes to the patients. They feel like they're part of the family, and we feel like we're part of their family. And if I could have all of your attention, I'll show you how to brush your teeth properly. ACORN started its Level Playing Field program in 1992 to focus on the needs of rural children. As part of the program, ACORN staff and volunteers travel to local elementary schools and community centers, providing health education, immunizations, and dental screenings. You're going to take your toothbrush, put it way in the back part of your mouth, angle it slightly, and just gently, gently massage at the gum line and then sweep down. When children are young, I think sometimes we have the notion that we have to do for them, when in fact, you can invite that child to participate with you in their health care. And that's one of the things that we really emphasize at ACORN. Have you felt like you've had a fever? You don't have one right now. So we involve the children in being able to communicate, because part of, of what keeping yourself healthy means is being able to articulate your needs to a health care provider. One of the keys to ACORN's success is its partnership with the University of Florida, 25 miles away in Gainesville. We have a huge hospital, Shantz Hospital, and then they help sponsor a smaller site such as ACORN Clinic, which makes it nice for then you to use all the resources that you've acquired here at the university, whether it be education, equipment, whatever, and then to take it out into the community where it's truly needed. Hi, my name's Ian. I'm a nurse practitioner student here in my last semester. The clinic provides a valuable setting for medical, nursing, and dental students to hone their skills while providing low-cost, high-quality health care to ACORN's patients. The things that you get from ACORN that you just don't get from the classroom setting is the interaction with the people. Uh, you really get to see the feedback of how your services are helping a community. 
As a kid growing up, my parents weren't fortunate enough to give us regular treatments. That was one of the main things that motivated me to become a dentist, to try and pr provide help for people that are underprivileged, like myself at one time. I appreciate what you have been taught. In school, you learn the basics of how to do fillings and you know, dentures and just the basics of dentistry. Keep it going. With ACORN, it gives you the chance to pull everything together and use what you've learned at the University of Florida on a real patient that's in a, a more reality type setting. Dr. Peter Guerin is chief of staff of Shands Hospital, the University of Florida's teaching hospital and the region's largest healthcare facility. It's extremely beneficial to have students at the Acorn Clinic from my perspective and to, and to have them have the opportunity to leave this building and see what a different, different brand of care is like. In addition to his job as chief of staff and a busy personal practice, Dr. Guerin is one of the many experienced healthcare professionals who take time to volunteer at ACORN. Okay, thumb down. I've been going to the ACORN Clinic for about 15 years. It, it's a social place, it's a, it's a healing place, it's a, it is a special place. If you ask the patients how they feel about it, it's, a, it, uh, you know, it's in their soul. We couldn't do what we do without those volunteers. Part of what our, our purpose is, we believe in being here, is to give them a place to volunteer that's really satisfying, that they're able to use their skills and expertise to come make a difference in patients' lives. What the program accomplishes is threefold. First and foremost, the children who are provided with basic health care at ACORN have a much better chance at staying healthy, doing well in school, and growing into productive adults. Second, it saves money for the community. Since 1992, unpaid emergency room visits by area residents have decreased by 70 percent. Third, and equally important, the volunteer students at ACORN come to understand the needs of the poor in their community and develop a sense of responsibility for them, values that cannot be learned in the classroom. You know, from my perspective, it's a responsibility of institutions who have a substantial bottom line to share or to contribute. I think that's extremely important, and I, I think it, it only requires a few moments of time for the principals in those businesses uh, to spend at a place like the ACORN Clinic to see what the value really is. The ACORN model has already been replicated in Tallahassee in partnership with Florida State University and in Miami with the University of Miami. The ACORN model is replicable by any agency that's within an hour, hour and a half, two hours driving distance in a rural area of a university where you tap the student and faculty population to provide health care services the Mutual of America Community Partnership Award was created to recognize and encourage partnerships like the one between ACORN and the University of Florida. These partnerships demonstrate the power of joining together in a grassroots effort to solve local problems with local resources, creating mutually beneficial relationships that make the whole community stronger. By being able to come to a place where you can make a difference in a day, in a moment, it gives us back a sense of hope. It gives us back a sense that we can affect change. For their innovative approach to health care for rural children at risk, the Acorn Clinic and the University of Florida are the 1997 recipients of the Mutual of America Community Partnership Award.